Hello, Wolf Pups! It's your host, Ray PS, and welcome to our home. Rather, welcome back to our home. Uh, I actually told the developer of this game that it's got to do more of this. Uh, it didn't happen. <laughs> and it's probably been over a month. Probably a couple months. And I feel bad about it because this is a good visual novel. It's got great voice acting. A ton of voice acting went into it, which I'm sure you'll see uh, as we continue this. Um, if you want to catch up to where we're at, I'll try to put the link in the description uh, for the first episode I did this a long while back. Hopefully, uh, this episode's got to be better because I've, I've learned a lot since then <laughs> about recording and stuff. But enough of my rambling. It's our home. Let's get into it. The door opens slowly, little one creeping in, her face red from what can only be tears. I, I'm sorry to bug you. See, it's like amazing voice acting. Ah, as shy as ever. She doesn't deal with, well with, well, anything really. I like it. It's seeing her like this. She's worried about the argument. I would be too, sis. I would be too. Were it not for the regularity of the event. No, no, you're not bugging me at all. Don't you worry about that. Come over here, are you okay? I can't bring myself to leave my bed, but I can at least muster the energy to sit up. She trudges over, sitting next to me, nuzzling in a close hug. Fight? I'm sorry, sis. It's okay, I do too. But it's only natural, right? Our mother is very strict, and Alex, well, is going through a phase right now. Very long phase. Can't help but doubt the very words I speak. I have no faith in either of them, and I find it difficult lying right to my little sister's face. That little cute face. Give, give it time, and things will work out. Probably. Yeah. Her voice is shy and reserved. If she weren't so close, I wouldn't be able to hear a single word. I continue to give her false hope. Yeah, we'll see. She remains quiet, of course. I can't convince her. Why would I? If I can't even convince myself, I have zero faith in convincing... ...in my brother, and even less faith in my mother. You know what? I can do something to cheer you up. What do you say? What do you say I don't hit the wrong key? No, I'm okay. Oh, <laughs> she's so cute. Nope. I'm going to do something for you. You'll see. How about you catch some rest, huh? But... No buts. It's been a long day. You need a warm, comfy bed to sleep in. I'll get to work on something for you. You'll see. Fine, I guess. She wraps her arms through around my waist, hugging me tightly. Such a cute little sis. Thank you. You're welcome, sis. She reluctantly releases me, giving me one last pitiful look. Standing up, I ruffle her hair a bit before taking a seat at my desk. She situates herself under the covers before dozing off. Okay, time for me to do something for her. Something special, too. Hmm. Can't exactly do anything to fix the situation. Nor would it be a good idea to get involved. Maybe I can get her a gift. Ah, that takes a bit more money than I have. I'd rather not ask Dad to lend me any. Mom will just nag me about my unemployment. I can hear it now. Get a job. You're worthless without a career. You're going nowhere with your life. No, thank you. So I have to do something that I can make. I can always whip out the old sewing machine. I haven't touched that thing in ages, and I really should. Reaching over, I carefully pull it close, struggling with the weight of the damn thing. It scatters the random sketches I have sprawled across the table. Relics of a better past, for sure. So what can I do? It's relatively cheap. It doesn't take too long to make. Not a dress, or any article of clothing, really. It break both the aforementioned rules that I've set for myself. I glance back at Maria. Her face is peaceful, but her brow is furrowed. She has one of my pillows clutched tightly in her arms. She's hugging it close to her chest. Damn. That brings back memories. Back when she used to bury herself in plushies, dolls, bears, you name it. She fit right in with her toys, too. They'd hug her back, almost like the pillow she's holding now. Oh, it gives me an idea. I can make her a plushie. Tell me I'm gonna make her a plushie. 
Please be a plushie. Tell me we're making a plushie. I know just what to do. Back before mom quit her job, dad used to take Marie out to buy a plushie every once in a while. She loved little things like that. She loved him too. That's it. I'll make her plushie. Yes! I'm sure I have enough materials around here. I run me to show the few boxes of materials I have left from the Golden Ages, and I pull out just what I'll need to make what she needs. It'll be a tight fit, but I'm sure I can make it work. I begin by sketching out a 2D figure of the thing, electing to go with a small ram. The pencil glides across the warm page, over scattered memories and lost progress. Eventually, I find that I've finished a good working draft. It's been only a few minutes, but I can already feel the creative high. Feels good to create. Something I used to get lost in all the time. I know it can't last, however. Every time I hit this point, shortly after the world hits me again, I lose the energy to continue. That means I'll have to hurry before that happens. Move on to a more 3D approach. Abandoning the sketch pencil for some colored pens and markers. Using a black fine point to note the curves in the creature, ensuring that it'll appear 3D at least to me. It's a lot of work. I test out some colors on my previous sketch, moving towards a brown color set. Keep the eyes a nice button black. Looking through my materials, I notice that I have to make it small. Probably something you can cradle. Almost like a teddy bear would be. Nothing wrong with that. I'm sure she'd love that. Sister looks a little on the small side anyway. My pace slows. The zealous fervor I have just a minute ago fading quicker than it came. This is probably good enough for the night. Yeah, good enough. Is all that I need. Time to chat with Lauren anyways. She'd bug me all day tomorrow if I were to miss our nightly call. Now hide the sketches under the rest of the failed experiments, promising to myself to continue tomorrow night. Flipping out my phone, I admire my lock screen. It's a picture of Lauren and I, smiling on a beach. Damn, it's been ages. Damn. I say damn a lot. It's okay. I find her in my recent contract. Contracts. <laughs> Contacts before I tap the video call button. It's almost immediately answered. Hey, yo. Took you long enough. <laughs> Doesn't matter. How's your day? Er, night by now? Yes. So. So. As happy as always, it takes a bit for the camera to focus on her, struggling with her erratic movements. <laughs> eh, could have been better. Another fight between my brother and my mom. Nothing new. Yeah. I'm always here. Yeah, I know you are. So, how's she been? Your sister. I know she gets a bit nervous. Uh, she's still nervous, and she's upset right now. She's actually sleeping in my bed right now. I've been working on a gift for her to help her feel better, actually. Oh? <laughs> See, this is why I love you. Well, we should keep this chat short then, so we don't wake her up. Yes. Shh. Quiet. Yeah, that would be best. Alrighty. Well, my day was good. I'll see you tomorrow at school. Right? Yeah, of course. She gives me a stern gaze, only breaking it to give a quiet giggle. Don't worry, I'll be there. See you tomorrow. See ya. Toodles. She ends the call, just like that. I'm tired. Nothing new. At least the bed will be warm, right? I swivel the chair around and make my way to the bed. As expected, my sister is sound asleep. Gently, I get in bed with her, and I shut my eyes. Finally, my favorite part of the day, sleep. Oh, trippy. Did we take some LSD before we went to bed? Kidding, kidding. I open my eyes to find a face much too close to mine and soft lips against my own. What? She pulls back. I think I hurt her a little. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong, baby? Damn, dream girl. It it's nothing, sorry. Are you sure. sure. <sighs> yeah. yeah. You trouble at home? Look around. This is Diane's bedroom, right? Been here a lot, but normally Diane isn't kissing me. Why does she think I kiss her? Did something change and I forgot? No, it's nothing like that. They're great. Mom, Dad, my brother are all great. Why are we why are we lying to this dream girl? I don't get it. No, of course not. No way, you're amazing. You do everything for me. 
Actually, I meant to thank you for what you did for my birthday. Sure, baby, anything for you. Sure, baby, anything for you. It's crazy. It's, it's like, it's weird. It's, 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 it's awkward right now. But like I said, I, I feel bad that I... It's been so long since I picked up this game again, because you can tell, like, the voice acting, a lot went into it. So you sure you're okay? Your family's still cool with you coming over here to help? Mm, yeah, they're cool. I didn't even know that was coming up. That's exactly what she said. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> yeah, me too. I mean, yeah. I wish, I wish your parents were as hip as my parents. Can you let me come around? They don't know what we do up here. No, they don't. Oh. Okay, we'll, we'll put that on the ice. Diane took my hand. Ah, I hit it again. Is there a back? Yeah, there's a back. Like, because we missed the whole voice acting on that. Thank you, thank you. I know, D. Oh, we went to D now, or die. I think it's die, but I'm gonna call her D. Good, because Emily wants the D. Thanks. Sure thing, baby. And she keeps saying baby. Sure thing, baby. Okay, baby. She squeezed my hand. How about we slow things down tonight? I agree. And stop squeezing my hand. It's getting kind of awkward. What do you mean? Sounds good. Kind of like the kissing, but maybe Diane is right. I'm not really in the mood. Sure. All right. Diane got up, moving over to a record collection and pulling out one. I don't know, is it? She put the record into the player and started it up. That's weird, it's songs from Bye Bye Birdie. I was listening to this pretty recently. How did you know? You've been stalking me? It's good. Thanks. I do my best to smile. I feel a little bit better already. She sat down on the bed next to me again. I will. I'll tell you all the lies, baby. I'll tell you all the lies, D. But next time. Because that's all the time we have for this episode. If you like this video... Give it a pause up, subscribe, join the pack, till next time, take care. <laughs>